Now that should bring us to the different types of melanoma since we talked about the causes of melanoma, which are almost always, but not always the sun. There are melanomas that are not so-called skin melanomas or cutaneous melanomas. You can have melanomas of the palms and soles, so-called acral melanomas. And let's face it, the palms and the soles don't tend to see that much sun. Obviously you're walking around, you know, the sole of your foot isn't gonna see the sun. And if you look at people who are heavily pigmented, the palms and the soles tend to have the least pigment. So ironically, they're the least protected part of the body against the sun, although they don't see much of the sun. Same thing for your nail beds. Nail beds don't have much pigment. Uh, they're pretty pale. And again, they tend to not see that much sun unlike the rest of your body. But you can have melanomas in all those places, palms, soles, beds of the nail. Those are what we call the acral antigenous or acral melanomas. And they have, they're a different species of melanoma entirely. They have many different genetic changes that the typical skin melanoma doesn't have. You can then have mucosal melanomas, and those are pretty rare. If you had 100,000 regular melanomas, you'd have 1,000 mucous membrane melanomas, and they arise on the mouth, the nose, vaginal area, anorectal area, the urethra. Those are where the mucous membranes are, and they don't, they better not see the sun. They don't see the sun, and they arise via a completely different mechanism that does not relate to the sun, although the end result is the same. They can develop pigment, they can express many of the same factors that a skin melanoma does, and they can spread and cause the death just as easily as a skin melanoma can. The last unusual type of melanoma is melanoma of the eye. The part of the eye it arises in is called the uvea, so uveal melanomas or ocular or eye melanomas generally are not directly related to the sun, but there are pigment cells obviously in our eyes, right? We have blue eyes, green eyes, brown eyes. So there are pigment cells there and they can grow out of control and in mechanisms different than the so-called skin melanomas, you can develop a cancer from those pigment cells.